In this quick lesson, I'm going to talk to you about this extra tab in the shading and 3D effects of the Design Center. So here we have some typical text that we want to apply a preset to. And I'll just do that here from one of these presets. Um, actually, I'll, sh I'll show you this one here. It's quite a good example. Now you can see it's got this sort of uh, reflection going on here. Now if I turn this off, you can see it has a profound change. If I turn it back on, you can see this reflection map applying to the effect and when I turn it off you can see the difference is quite extraordinary. Now it's a texture map or a, what we call a reflection map and you've got a whole set of these and you can basically use any image. Like this car here gives a very glossy effect. Um, this one here is a more smooth, uh, less glossy type look and I can change and fiddle around with these. I'll try this one and you can see you, by using a different reflection map you can truly get some quite amazing differences. Here's a picture of New York and the skyline and you can see it reflecting in the uh, on the effect there. If I turn it off again, as you can see, it's quite a profound difference. So reflection maps make a, a quite a significant difference to the look of an effect. Now you can adjust how reflective the reflection map actually is by adjusting these up and down. As you can see, it changes it quite dramatically again. And I can set the grazing angle, which is again how reflective uh, the actual image is against the surface. So how reflective it is and the reflection angle. Uh, by adjusting these I can get all sorts of different looks and effects. And in fact if I go to uh, say the lighting tab here and I adjust the lighting like so um, and then bring off the, uh, the gloss value a little bit and make it a bit more matte I can hardly see it. But what I can do is I can adjust these settings up and you'll see slowly the reflection map starts coming in and it's quite a subtle difference but on a piece of artwork you're trying to create for someone um, for a particular uh, project you can really fiddle with these settings and as you can see I can take it to an extreme where it's almost uh, white because it's so reflective you can take these settings to create uh, an infinite range of different looks and feelings and um, uh, different effects to your text and your objects and things in the program there they're really quite a useful way of making some fantastic artwork. So I encourage you to uh, bring in a sample and play around with these settings. Now I'm going to show you uh, bump maps. Bump maps again, they give a lot of texture and depth to an effect. As you can see here, it looks really quite like iron. Uh, if I turn the reflection map off, you can see that has yeah, a little bit of an effect, but not much. But if I turn the bump map off, of course, now it has a huge effect. Turn it back on and you can see that we have this, um, this sort of iron look. Now I can change this to any other uh, bump map. You can see here these, these stones, they have a completely different look. Now I can adjust all these sort of settings like the size and the height and the smoothing. And by fiddling with these settings, as you can see, I can really change how this effect looks. I can also select some other uh, bump map. But I'll just show you the bump height here. So if I set it to 1, you can see that the, 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 the way it's pronounced, the way the bump comes off is, is a lot less. If, as I increase the bump height, it's far more pronounced. Now I can adjust the smoothing. And as you can see here, it can look like a, a very rough edge down to a very smooth mirror finish and everything in between. So you can really affect the way a piece of artwork looks by adjusting these settings here and just fiddling around with them. Um, and you'll be quite amazed at the sort of uh, textures you can create um, and really adjust these up and down to change the, the overall look of this, uh, this particular effect here as I go through. And as you can see uh, by adjusting these settings I can really uh, make some quite, quite pronounced differences. I mean for example I change the, the texture itself to this, um, this checker plate here. It just looks quite different. Okay, so i just increase that to show you, like so. Alright, so that's how you use those tools. Now these advanced tools, uh, the resolution, look for most computers these days you can leave it on high. Um, it really won't affect you. As you can see as I'm changing this, they don't have a, a great deal of effect. It, it depends on the effect you have to what effect these have. Um, but if you've got a fast computer, don't you just leave it on high. 
Now if I increase the outline here, you can see that it's shading these outlines or the outline effect. That's what shade vector effects is all about. When that's checked, uh, any of the outlines and additional things you create um, are shaded as well. So that's how to use the reflection maps and the bump maps. And as I as explained, if you fiddle around with these settings, you can get some amazing effects. And I really encourage you to do that. And that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.